when you're doing a sealant like this, you have to make sure that you are controlling the moisture, the water, saliva, anything that will contaminate the, the tube. So the first thing that you have to do is make sure that the tooth is clean. And the way that we do that is we're going to use pumice. Don't use anything else but pumice to make sure that you clean the surfaces of the teeth that you're going to put a sealant on. So now the way that you want to do that is that you're using pumice with a profi cup and then we're going to go ahead and put sealants on these two teeth. And the first thing you do is make sure that you're cleaning the tooth on the surfaces that you're going to put the sealant in. The buckle, the punzo, if you need to put anything on the lingual. Okay, once you've done the cleaning of the tooth surface, you have to make sure that you are able to keep that nice and dry. And the best way to keep these nice and dry is with cotton roll, gauze, and there's also the dry angle. Now the dry angle is going to go right here next to the salivary gland on the cheek. You could also put cotton rolls on this side and on the buckle side. And then you could also use and then be able to put it like that to keep it nice and dry. Okay. So the, the second that you do is once you've got that tooth dried, you're going to use an acid etch. on the surfaces that you're going to be putting the sealant in. On the buckle. And if you need to, on the lingual. Where the pits and fissures are. Leave it there for a good 20 seconds. Keep it nice and dry with the gauze. Now we've got two material, Pitts and Fisher sealant, flowable composite. And they are applied the same way. And you can go ahead, spread it out. Okay. Or global composite. Apply it evenly.
hit it with the light. for about 20 seconds. 